How is the barrel's popping with cracking its deep off your access Abbott and preach of it? It's titled Women Pretending to Be Trans for Money. What? This sounds ridiculous. And this ties back into what I was just talking about in the NLE Chopper video where, you know, I was kind of side eyeing him and I, I felt like he was pandering to the LGBTQ community, you know, um, and trying to profit off of their backs. This is what this title is given. I mean, I need more information, of course, to know exactly what's going on, but that that's just what I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see a trend of people uh, just trying to pander to the community and or align themselves with the community uh, for their own financial gain. And it doesn't come across as them being allies or being supportive of the community at, at all. It feels uh, like you're just being selfish and you're just trying to use the community for your own gain and it's trifling. <laughs> so that's just my opinion about it. But of course, do what you want. I guess some people will view it as, oh, this is you showing support and this is you being an ally. I don't see how you would see it that way, but sure, you know, everybody's different. Uh, but whatever, that, that's how I view it, honestly. But yeah, let, let's see what they're doing and what's going on, let's watch. So this picture went viral in one of the funniest incidents on the internet in the last year. Whatever. Take a look, left or right? <laughs> you know yeah, what damn. Uh, no. No, no. no. <laughs> I mean, obviously, this is this is very different, <laughs> but still, it's in the same arena. Okay, it's just people trying to, you know, position themselves and cozy up to uh, the community, you know, for their own gain. No. So here's the funny part: they sell coochie, <laughs> right? They do the OnlyFans thing. Go, cool. I'm good for that. Not selling coochie. They not trans. I would have just put something in there. So that's fine. So they're pretending to be trans to make money. Mm -hmm. But it's the thing. There is people. Yeah. Now here's where it gets better. Trans people not happy that cis women are pretending. <laughs> they're not happy that oh, okay. cis women are pretending nah, to be trans women. Nah, and you know what the cis women are saying? Well, what's the problem? What? Trans women are women. So. Nah, that is not the same thing. What you want to do? Careful. That is not my issue. <laughs> That's for y'all. That ain't. Yeah, yeah, no, let me, let me no, no. I mean, getting mad is a reach, in my opinion. Because do I give a fuck enough? Absolutely not. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not. I'm not trans. But you know, even if I was, I, I wouldn't care enough to get upset. But of course, I would still have an opinion. You know, I, I feel like it's a big difference between having an opinion about something and voicing that and being upset. And people are so quick to be like, oh, you mad, you mad, you mad. It's like, niggas could just voice their opinions without being mad. It's not that deep, always. Um, so there's nothing wrong with them speaking out about it and being like, y'all trifling. <laughs> they might not be upset and, and outraged, you know, about it. But I, if they are just saying they're trifling, I, I, I understand why they are. Like, what? And that's false advertisement. Y'all are literally making it seem like you have a penis, you're a chick with a dick, <laughs> and you not. Like, that's direct false advertisement. No, no. Let me through the window. They told, they told, I'm going to be like here on the other side of the street to watch what's going on. To back and up I'm not saying, <laughs> And I'm not saying, go ahead with the sound check. I'm not saying that People should love who they love. If that's your thing, that's your thing. It's not personally mine, and it's fine. But I am not the one to debate and to be like, well, this is right or wrong. Uh, I don't think it's a right no. or wrong. It's just an opinion. They're ladies, too. You can't go. You can't go. I mean, this. You think can't, about the logic. You, I'm trying to convince you me cannot that go. trans women are women, so why can't cis women be trans women? You cannot go <laughs> and say it doesn't matter. All right, y'all, y'all reaching. And then later on, be like, no, it does matter in certain cases. And as a kid, that no, no, no. no. I thought these are just me saying that. Different like, arguments. Yeah, no, nobody. I'm not. That's not my thing. I would deem the trans folk, but I'm not. It's just not my cup of tea. Hell, I really doubt this is tea. It's probably D. Right. But I digress. That's a good. That's that's funny. That's funny to me. That's that. So here we go. We got one girl who says, seeing cis girls shoving diddlies in their pants and pretending to be trans for money makes me so annoyed. My See, this is an opinion. She's saying she's annoyed. Is she about to go riot in the streets? No. Is she about to get people to sign a petition? No. So, Kiana is just, 
saying how she feels. Okay, and that that's that's her opinion. She's entitled to her opinion. She's annoyed. <laughs> Gender isn't your costume. <laughs> but I already know what they're about to say. Look at the faces. <laughs> I already know what they're about to say. <laughs> like oh, the irony of you saying that. I know they, what they're about to say. <laughs> oh. I think this is something worth looking into. One person wrote, I wish nothing but pain and suffering okay, in the future for co-opting our identity to make money doing You wouldn't last a day in our shoes. You wouldn't last a day having a dick as big as mine. And I pray to God that you experience a fraction of the violence we do. Thoughts? That's uh, too much. No, they have the right to do whatever the fuck they want. That's a lot. That's, that's what we've established. I think the rules were... If you identify, therefore you are. That's the rules that y'all said. I don't believe in that nonsense, but that's your rules. You said trans women are women? Okay. So then why can't they be you? Because they don't identify. They identify as women. But trans women are women. So then... Yeah, they're trans. But they're not identifying as that. It's not like they're... Wa it, well, obviously, I don't know these bitches. <laughs> I don't know these women. Sorry. Um... So I don't know what they're doing in their everyday lives, but it does not appear that that's what they're identifying as and they're walking around their day-to-day -day life with dildos and their panties. It, it seems like they're doing this for financial gain. They're doing this for attention to attract people to come over to their OnlyFans and pay money. And then they're like, ah, surprise, I got a, I got a pussy. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what it's giving, okay? Like, it's not seeming like they're like, this is how I'm living my life. And... You know, this is how I'm walking around day to day, and this is what I identify as. Like, that, this seems very different. These are, I've so, never really been good at math, and this one is fucking me up. It All did, right. it did so, make sense from the start. This is an M. Night Shyamalan plot line. <laughs> and you started right in the middle, wondering why this looks like the end when it's really the beginning. Did that make sense? No. Neither does any of this nonsense. You're welcome. Thank you. You appreciate me? Yeah, you do. I got you. So, this is the new meta. I support it. I support it. I mean, sometimes it I matter. like to tuck my penis in between my legs and then squeeze real hard like I got a vagina. Did you never did that coming out of the shower? You, you yeah, yeah. You're the one who taught me that. Not you, so. Yeah, because I have. <laughs> you discuss it. I have a yeah. I have a, a bit on that. But uh, okay. So why are you trying to look disgusted like you pretend like you don't know what I'm talking? Not about? disgusted. That face was not disgusted. Like you do. You know you did that coming out the shower. Don't act like you didn't try it once. You didn't not just... once. They do it a lot. All right, and they do that little flap thing where they go side to side and they penis flap left or right. I know all the tricks. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like the rule was before. All the weird tricks. That it, and it mattered. Yeah. Like y'all were all, it was all women. Yeah. So I don't see what the issue is with that. Yeah. And I, and I was telling you guys, this was undoubtedly going to happen, right? There's a lot of people who are going to pretend to be ladies because it benefits them. At some point, the reverse is going to happen too. Yeah. If there's a big benefit to being trans, somebody going to pretend. This Listen, I'm not... I'm not some people are going to pretend to be black man. for that kind not of social percent. currency. Some people are going to pretend to be white. Or, or that's not even going to pretend to be white, but it's going to take the culture. That's that Justin Timberlake. That's that whatever you, you name. Yeah. It's not uh, appropriation, it's appreciation. So, yeah, and they're making money off of it. That's what, hey. I don't know about all that. I don't either, but that's what the, I, I go by the rule. You go by what the last rule was. And I, and I, you met, you, you don't, I'm not the one that put the rule on there. Yeah. I'm not the one that said that's the rule. No, they told me that that was the rule, and I follow what the rule is. And now every day you're coming out with new fucking rules. I need to see the whole post. That I need more rule. context. Go, on, ladies, do your shit. That is actually super interesting. That the pretending to be trans is such a lucrative genre. There's a lot of dudes out there who want to see like ladies with bees and titties mm -hmm. banging it out. 
Yeah. That's a very, like, it's so lucrative that rather than being cis in a saturated market with, like, biological women, they'd rather go to this market because there's so much money to be made. Yeah. That means that all these people going, ew, trans, just a lot of them behind closed doors are just like... Yeah, it's just like, I call, I call that the Crocs paradigm. What? The Crocs paradigm. What's that? Everybody said that Crocs are ugly, but uh, Crocs is a billion dollar company. Some of you motherfuckers are lying. It's a billion dollar company? It's a, I got them. It's not a billion, it's, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a very lucrative, my bad, yeah. as you know, a billion's crazy, that's what I'm saying. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to, uh, I trust you. It's fine. It's okay. But still, it's just, it is what it is. It's like, so it's like, everybody's talking, claiming that, claiming that Crocs are ugly. Them motherfuckers are making people gushes. saying that no more. Stop. Yeah. Some of y'all like. I think. Everybody I know got Crocs. Some trans problem is more straight than straight problem. <laughs> so, I don't know. Because, think about this. Think about this. Look at that's a Barbados. Now, there's a lady with a penis, and she's sleeping with another woman. You know what? I've got behind the scenes that can explain it. When is he going to leave them alone? <laughs> At this point, this is harassment, Abba. Leave, leave, leave those niggas alone. They are already down bad enough. Okay. Because it's mm, more straight. That's straight. Because it's like a dude banging a girl, but he's got titties. Think about this. Think about this. No, you lost me. <laughs> because if a trans woman just bangs a female, it's just like a dude banging a female, but they got titties. Yeah, and there's two with this. So that's uh, more straight than than straight boy. I did the math. Quick maths. Can y'all argue with that? Leave me a comment below. <laughs> you understand? Know I just missed your brain off. Now, once you guys are about to start watching that shit, and you're gonna feel comfortable. You still get. It. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know what the Eight point six billion. Eight point six billion. Some of you motherfuckers. My apologies. Some of you motherfuckers are lying. I'm wearing cross right now. I'm just you're not. I, I was like, I don't believe, I don't remember. Anything. I don't understand. I feel like people used to say that, but I don't hear that ever anymore. I said, y'all both Crocs are right yeah. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, we just have to come to terms. All these people who say they don't want trans and all of this stuff, a lot of y'all lying. Y'all be out here yelling really loudly, but behind closed doors, you be jerking it every chance you get. That's mm-hmm. fine. Do your thing. Be, be fine with your shit. But come out, or at least stop being so against it. Yeah. Because it just don't sound real. Yeah. Some of y'all lying. Some, a lot of y'all lying. Yeah. Yeah. I see some motherfuckers like talking to girls and with a little liquor in their in the, in the system. And it's like, and the, and, and the girl was really adamant and saying, Yeah, I'm trans. And it's like, I don't care because you look so good right now. I was like, God damn, bro, you hey, Go on, live your life. Go on, live your life. Just, you know, stop lying about it. Anything else? Nah. All right, let's go with you. I need more context. I need more context because, I mean, I'm assuming that they're just doing this for money and attention and to attract, you know, attention to their OnlyFans. But, you know, what if they are living their daily lives like this and they're just like, hey, I've always wanted a penis. I've always felt like I should have a penis. I felt like a part of me was missing. And this is how I, I identify. This is how I walk around every day. Like, what you mean? Who, who are we to be like, no, you lying. No, you're just doing this for money. No. no. Who are we to say that? Because... Just how people downplay trans women and men, I feel like that's hypocritical to downplay, you know, how they're living their lives and be like, nah, you, you lying. You're just doing it for attention. You know, because that is my first, that is my first uh, reaction. But you got to think about it. That is very hypocritical to completely write them off and be like, nah, y'all on some bullshit. Y'all just doing this and trying to dress up like us. Y'all trying to wear us like a costume. It's like, wait, <laughs> Isn't that what you accuse people of doing to you? Like, so how can you then spew that same rhetoric back to them just because you don't understand it or because you feel like it's silly or that it's ridiculous or whatever? You you feel me? So I'm trying to look at it in that way. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> because, of, of course, my first instinct is to be like, y'all on some bullshit. Like, y'all trifling. Y'all just doing this, you know, for attention or whatever. And it's like, but I can't say that. I don't fucking know these people. I don't know how they're living their lives, you know, so I can't be certain in, in making that assessment. So th- this is interesting because I can't say I fully understand, you know, the trans community either. So, you know, there, there have been many times where I've been like, what? <laughs> this ain't making sense or this is ridiculous or I don't agree with this, you know, but that is, you know, downplaying their experience. So I feel like that is very hypocritical and very wild, uh, you know, for trans women to downplay them without more context again keyword because they they could have come out and been like yeah we don't do this on our on our <laughs> in our regular lives like we're just doing this for for the you know the shot to attract attention for our only fans they, they could have admitted that somewhere so again i need i need more context I, I don't know these people but yeah very interesting y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see you on the next one bye